The Importance of the Drip Rate Moonshine Life Recipes Group by J.B. Wagonmaker The drip rate while distilling moonshine depends on several factors, such as the design of the still, the amount of energy input, the temperature of the mash and the vapor, and the concentration of alcohol in the mash. These factors can be adjusted and controlled to achieve the desired drip rate for different types of moonshine. The design of the still affects the drip rate, as different stills have different features and functions that influence the distillation process. For example, a pot still is a simple and traditional still that consists of a pot, a lid, a tube, and a condenser. A pot still produces a low drip rate, as the vapor has to travel a long distance and pass through a narrow tube before reaching the condenser. A pot still also produces a low proof and flavorful moonshine, as it does not separate the alcohol from the other components very well. A reflux still is a more advanced and efficient still that consists of a pot, a column, a condenser, and a collection vessel. A reflux still produces a high drip rate, as the vapor travels a short distance and passes through a wide column before reaching the condenser. A reflux still also produces a high proof and neutral moonshine, as it separates the alcohol from the other components very well. The amount of energy input affects the drip rate, as it determines how fast the mash is heated and how much vapor is produced. The energy input can be adjusted by changing the heat source, such as a gas burner, an electric element, or a wood fire. The energy input can also be adjusted by changing the heat settings, such as low, medium, or high. The more energy input, the higher the drip rate, as the mash boils faster and more vapor is generated. However, too much energy input can also cause problems, such as scorching the mash, overheating the still, or creating too much pressure. The less energy input, the lower the drip rate, as the mash boils slower and less vapor is generated. However, too little energy input can also cause problems, such as taking too long, wasting fuel, or producing too little moonshine. The temperature of the mash and the vapor affects the drip rate, as it determines the boiling point and the condensation point of the alcohol in the water. The temperature can be measured by using a thermometer, either in the pot, in the column, or in the condenser. The temperature can also be estimated by observing the color and the clarity of the vapor, as well as the smell and the taste of the moonshine. The higher the temperature, the higher the drip rate, as the alcohol in the water boil and condense faster. However, too high a temperature can also cause problems, such as distilling unwanted substances, such as methanol, acetone, or fusel oils, which can affect the quality and the safety of the moonshine. The lower the temperature, the lower the drip rate, as the alcohol in the water boil and condense slower. However, too low a temperature can also cause problems, such as leaving too much alcohol in the mash, which can affect the yield and the efficiency of the moonshine. The concentration of alcohol in the mash affects the drip rate, as it determines the ratio and the proportion of the alcohol and the water in the vapor. The concentration of alcohol can be measured by using a hydrometer, either before or after the distillation. The concentration of alcohol can also be estimated by observing the proof and the strength of the moonshine, as well as the amount and the duration of the run. The higher the concentration of alcohol, the lower the drip rate, as the alcohol has a lower boiling point and a higher condensation point than water. This means that the alcohol vaporizes earlier and condenses later than water, resulting in a slower and longer run. The lower the concentration of alcohol, the higher the drip rate, as the alcohol has a higher boiling point and a lower condensation point than water. This means that the alcohol vaporizes later and condenses earlier than water resulting in a faster and shorter run. The drip rate influences the quality, flavor, and potency of the moonshine, as it determines the amount and the type of substances that are distilled and collected. The drip rate can be adjusted and controlled to achieve the desired quality, flavor, and potency for different types of moonshine. The quality of the moonshine refers to the purity and the safety of the product as well as the absence of unwanted substances, such as methanol, 
acetone, or fusel oils. These substances can cause unpleasant effects, such as headaches, nausea, or blindness, if consumed in large quantities. The quality of the moonshine can be improved by using a low drip rate, as it allows for a better separation and a more selective collection of the alcohol and the water. The quality of the moonshine can also be improved by using a reflux still, as it provides a higher level of purification and refinement. The quality of the moonshine can also be improved by performing multiple distillations, as it increases the concentration and the purity of the alcohol. The quality of the moonshine can also be improved by discarding the first and the last portions of the run, known as the foreshots and the tails, as they contain the most impurities and the least alcohol. The flavor of the moonshine refers to the taste and the aroma of the product, as well as the presence of desired substances, such as esters, aldehydes, or congeners. These substances can enhance the flavor and the character of the moonshine, depending on the type and the amount. The flavor of the moonshine can be enhanced by using a high drip rate, as it allows for a more complete and a more diverse collection of the alcohol and the water. The flavor of the moonshine can also be enhanced by using a pot still, as it provides a lower level of purification and refinement. The flavor of the moonshine can also be enhanced by using different ingredients and recipes, such as corn, sugar, or fruit, as they provide different flavors and aromas. The flavor of the moonshine can also be enhanced by adding spices, herbs, or wood, either during or after the distillation, as they provide additional flavors and aromas. The potency of the moonshine refers to the strength and the alcohol content of the product, as well as the effect and the sensation of the consumption. The potency of the moonshine can be increased by using a low drip rate, as it results in a higher concentration and a higher proof of the alcohol. The potency of the moonshine can also be increased by using a reflux still, as it provides a higher level of purification and refinement. The potency of the moonshine can also be increased by performing multiple distillations, as it increases the concentration and the purity of the alcohol. The potency of the moonshine can also be increased by adding sugar, yeast, or turbo, either before or after the fermentation as they increase the amount and the rate of the alcohol production. Some tips and guidelines for achieving the optimal drip rate for different types of stills and moonshine recipes are. For a pot still, the ideal drip rate is about 1 drop per second, or about 60 drops per minute. This drip rate produces a low proof and flavorful moonshine, suitable for whiskey, brandy, or rum. For a reflux still, the ideal drip rate is about 3 to 5 drops per second, or about 180 to 300 drops per minute. This drip rate produces a high proof and neutral moonshine, suitable for vodka, gin, or tequila. For a corn mash, the ideal drip rate is about 2 drops per second, or about 120 drops per minute. This drip rate produces a medium proof and smooth moonshine, suitable for bourbon, corn whiskey, or moonshine. For a sugar mash, the ideal drip rate is about 4 drops per second, or about 240 drops per minute. This drip rate produces a high proof and sweet moonshine, suitable for rum, schnapps, or liqueur. Enjoy! Moonshine Life Recipes